Welcome back to the ANA Podcast. I'm Ashley, and today I'm going to be reading through 2 Samuel, chapter 22. This is um, basically Psalm 18, and David is just praising the Lord for all the mercies that he's given to him. Uh, The bulk of this episode is just going to be me reading it, but I do want to kind of talk just a little bit about it and um, the significance of it. So uh, sit back and relax. This will be a little Devo time with me. Um, 2 Samuel chapter 22 says this, David sang to the Lord the words of this song when the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. He said, The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation. He is my stronghold, my refuge, and my savior. From violent men you save me. I call to the Lord who is worthy of praise, and I am saved from my enemies. The waves of death swirled about me. The torrents of destruction overwhelmed me. The cords of the grave coiled around me. The snares of death confronted me. In my distress, I called to the Lord. I called out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice. My cry came to his ears. The earth trembled and quaked. The foundations of the heavens shook. They trembled because he was angry. Smoke rose from his nostrils. Consuming fire came from his mouth. Burning coals blazed out of it. He parted the heavens and came down. Dark clouds were under his feet. He mounted the cherubim and flew. He soared on the wings of the wind. He made darkness his canopy around him. The dark rain clouds of the sky, out of brightness of his presence, bolts of lightning blazed forth. The Lord thundered from heaven. The voice of the Most High resounded. He shot arrows and scattered the enemies, bolts of lightning and routed them. The valleys of the sea were exposed and the foundations of the earth laid bare. At the rebuke of the Lord, at the blast of his breath from his nostrils, he reached down from on high and took hold of me. He drew me out of deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemy, from the foes who were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of my my disaster, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into his spacious place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. The Lord has dealt with me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands, he has renewed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord. I have not done evil by turning from my God. All his laws are before me. I have not turned away from his decrees. I have been blameless before him and I kept myself from sin. The Lord has rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to my cleanness of in his sight. To the faithful you show your faithfulness. To the blameless you show yourself blameless. To the pure you show yourself pure, but the crooked you show yourself shrewd you have the the humble you save the humble but your eyes are on the haughty to bring them low you are my lamp O lord the lord turns my darkness into light with your help i can advance against a troop and with my god i can scale a wall as for god his way is perfect the word of the lord is flawless he is a shield for all who take refuge in him for who is god besides the lord and who is the rock except our god It is God who arms me with his strength and makes my way perfect. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to stand on on the heights. He trains my hands for battle. My arms can bend a bow of bronze. You give me your shield of victory. You stood down to make me great. You broaden my path beneath me so that my ankles do not turn. I pursued my enemies and crushed them. I did not turn back till they were destroyed. I crushed them completely and they could not rise. They fell beneath my feet. You armed me with strength for battle. You made my adversaries bow at my feet. You made my enemies turn their backs in fight, in flight, and I destroyed my foes. They cried for help, but there was no one to save them. To the Lord, to the Lord, but he did not answer. I beat them as fine as dust of the earth. I poured and trampled them like mud in the streets. You have delivered me from the attacks of my people. You have preserved me as the head of the nations. People I did not know are subject to me. And foreigners... Oh, hi, Eddie. (laughs) Sorry, I guess the dog was... Anyway, um... Back to this. You have delivered me from the tax of my people. You have preserved me as the head of nations. People I did not know are subject to me, and foreigners come crying to me. As soon as they hear me, they obey me. They all lose heart. They come trembling from their strongholds. The Lord lives. Praise be to my rock. Exalt, exalt be the rock, my Savior. He is the God who avenges me, who puts the nations under me, who sets me free from my enemies. You exalt me above my foes. From violent men you rescue me. Therefore, I will praise you, O Lord, from the nations. I will praise your name. I will sing praises to your name. He gives his king great victories and shows unfailing kindness to his anointed. 
to David and his descendants forever. Okay, so this comes um, right after, like, uh, or before he sins with Bathsheba. And so he is just uh, praising God for anointing him king and for lavishing all all these things onto him. He's praising him for keeping him um, safe and guiding his steps when Saul is um, attacking him. So a lot of the Psalms, you'll notice like some war themes in them. And obviously like for David who wrote a lot of the Psalms, he, um, war was a big thing. And so it's like he's literally talking about being safe from his enemies, like running away from his enemies, fleeing from physical enemies and from harm. Um, it talks about like the cords of the grave coiled around him, the snares of death confronted me. And like he was close to death because these people were um, coming at him. It was the Lord who saved him though, who um, preserved his life, even though it, he was in distress. And so... Um, yeah, when you when you read Psalms and like this this chapter, know that he's literally talking about physical death from enemies. However, there is a spiritual connotation that we can or we can extrapolate it. Bless you, Eddie. We can extrapolate it uh, further into a spiritual context. So for us, um, the coils of death uh, and the what does it say? The coils of the grave coiled around me. The snares of death confronted me. So when he's talking about the uh, the cords of death entangling him um i i think of our sin and not only the sins that we commit but the sin nature that we have too without christ we are bound to the grave our sin and the the sin of the world just encroaches on us but with jesus he sets us free we call in the name of the lord and he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness which i just think is such a beautiful picture um it also talks about how the earth trembled and quaked the foundations of the of the heaven shook god is sovereign over all the earth everything that happens on the earth god is sovereign over um and yes there's sin death and destruction and that grieves god's heart but ultimately his plan will come through uh despite the sinfulness of the world god will reign there's another really beautiful um part of this and it says um you are my lamp, O Lord. The Lord turns my darkness into light. I have a tattoo on the back of my arm, which is like a little rising sun. Um, and it's based off this verse and then obviously in Psalm 18, but my God turns my darkness to light. Obviously, it was literally dark um, and he's turning it to light. The sun is setting and rising. Um, and But even more than that, I think David is talking about like darkness of his heart and like how dark the world can seem. Um he turned it to light. He turned this horrible situation into something good. And that's the same for us. Um, in my case, I have this tattooed on me um, just to remind myself that no matter what happens in my life through the dark times, God always redeems. He redeems the bad things and he makes them good. Um, and so the parts of my story and your story that are painful and the brokenness of the world that you feel, just know that God redeems them. He redeemed David from the pit of death, and he surely can um, redeem us from our troubles. Also, Jesus literally defeated death. He redeemed death in a way. And he sure will redeem us too. Uh, I love these these psalms about uh, just, I don't know, David is such a beautiful writer, and I'm excited to talk with him one day in heaven. Um, David does repent, and there's a psalm that... Um, talks about like asking God not to turn his spirit away from him uh, restore the spirit of God's salvation unto him yet he has sinned God is faithful and if we um, confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness and so dear friend I want to leave that with you today um, in your darkness and distress and when the cords of death are entangling you call on Jesus because he is faithful and just and he loves you so anyway talk at you next week